As always, if you haven't done so, make sure that you pause the video and try to answer the question on your own first before listening on. We can approach this question by looking at it graphically. For example, if we consider the function y equals x to the fourth, then in order to evaluate this quantity, what we would do is we would plug 1.999 in for x. So we would have y equals 1.999 raised to the power of four. And this is the value that we are trying to estimate. So to get a deeper understanding, what we're gonna do is sketch a graph of y equals x to the fourth with a couple of points highlighted in particular. So let's take a look at that graph. So we've gone ahead and we have graphed this function. Please note that it is not drawn to scale. It is actually sort of redrawn purposely to illustrate our point. We've labeled two points in particular. So we have the point that is colored in black here, and the coordinate of this point is 2 comma 16. We obtained that point by plugging 2 into the equation so that the y coordinate became 2 to the power of 4, which of course is equal to 16. So we have that point marked, and then we have another point marked in red, and the x coordinate of that point is 1.999, as you can see, and then the y coordinate is obtained by plugging that value in for x into the function. So that would give us 1.999 raised to the power of 4 for the y coordinate. And that's, again, the y value that we're trying to estimate. Now, here's the idea behind using a linearization. What we do is we draw a tangent line through the point 2 comma 16. And that's designed to be a straight line. And we can see that that tangent line crosses at this vertical line right here, where the x value is 1.999. Now, the y value of this blue point, if we sort of follow it over horizontally until we strike the y-axis, is very close to the y value that we're actually trying to approximate. So what we're essentially going to do is find the y-coordinate of this blue point by using the tangent line equation and once we have that y-coordinate, it will serve as an approximation to the 1.999 raised to the power of 4. So in essence, our goal becomes to find the equation of the blue tangent line and then plug 1.999 into it, and that will give us our linear approximation to this y-coordinate, 1.999 raised to the power of 4. Now, a tangent line takes on the form of a y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is known as the point-slope form of a line. We can see that our blue tangent line passes through the point 2 comma 16. So the value of 2 becomes our x1, and the value of 16 becomes our y1. All that we need is the slope. And then once we have the slope, we'll be able to plug in 1.999 to the tangent line equation for x. So, how do we find the slope of the blue tangent line? Well, we find it by computing the derivative of this function, the y equals x to the fourth. And so, we'll go ahead and calculate the derivative. Nice and easy, this becomes y prime. We use the power rule, so we put the four down in front, and we now raise x to the power of three. Now, to get the slope at the point two comma 16, we plug in the x value of that point, we plug in two. So y prime would be four times two cubed. Two cubed is eight, and eight times four is 32. So this becomes the slope of our blue tangent line. Let's go ahead and plug in the y1, the x1, and the slope that we just obtained. So at this point of the problem, we have the equation of that blue tangent line. Now, many textbooks textbooks replace y with the notation L of x. This is just meant to symbolize a linearization, which is the fancy term for that blue tangent line. So we can make that replacement if we wish. And now, as we stated, we're going to plug in the x-coordinate of this blue point, the 1.999 in for x. So basically, you're computing L of 1.999 minus 16 equals 32 times 1.999 minus 2. 
Let's take out our calculators. Let's do 1.999 minus 2. We get negative 0.001. We've almost got it. We'll multiply the 32 by the negative 0.001, and we get negative 0.032. Finally, to solve for the estimated y value, we're going to add 16 to both sides of this equation. And when we do that, we can see that L of 1.999 is equal to 15.968. So let's go back to the graph and make sure we understand what this 15.968 represents. It represents the y coordinate of that blue point on the tangent line right here, 15.968. And since that's extremely close to 1.999 to the fourth, that means that we can estimate 1.999 to the fourth as 15.968. So this is the correct answer. By the way, if you're curious, 1.999 raised to the power of four is this very lengthy decimal, which we will see is incredibly close to our estimated value. You can see how close they are.